Coming up, I review Amawaj's Journeyman. Stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody. This is Joel the Nose coming to you from Miami as usual. And today I am doing a full review of Amawaj's Journeyman. And you can see this is the little decant I have. I don't want to cover the juice. You can see it's kind of like a clear liquid. Um, this is a decant I got from my local perfumery, Osme. And I got this actually probably about six months ago and I hadn't really worn it. And I decided to give it a shot um, because I've really grown to like the Amouage brand. Um, I've done a review before of Beach Hut Man and I'll link to that up here. And Beach Hut Man is absolutely one of my just favorites that I've smelled in a long time. It's so unique. It's just so cool. But anyways, uh, this was released in 2014, so it's about five years old. Uh, it is considered a masculine fragrance and a woody, spicy classification. Um, the perfumer, it's actually two of them, was um, Alberto Morillas. Uh, a lot of you know who he is now because he did, first of all, CK1 and a host of other big designer brand fragrances, but most recently he is the nose behind Jeremy One, or I'm um, sorry, Jeremy Fragrance Office uh, Fragrance, so Fragrance One uh, Office. So uh, there's been a lot of publicity about that. And the uh, other person who helped design this is Pierre Negren. He's done a lot by Tom Ford, uh, also by Ralph Lauren. So powerhouse perfumers behind this, uh, this juice. Again, it was released in 2014. Uh, let me just read, so I don't get it wrong, the notes that are listed here. Uh, at the, the head or the top, we have pepper, bergamot, cardamom, and neroli. Then at the heart, we have juniper berry, incense, uh, geranial, and tobacco leaf. And then in the base, we have tonka bean, cipriol, leather, and ambrox. So good, good amount of stuff going on here. Um, and I'll give you a, a spray so you can kind of see my, and I'll take a, a smell so you can kind of see my reaction. I'm gonna go, let's see here, to my left because I prefer to do that. And even the decant, by the way, it's one of the best decant sprayers I've ever had. You know, sometimes decants don't give you much it's like hard to get, this gives like a, a good spray. You can see the, okay. Wow, it's intense guys. Um, if you haven't smelled this, you know, Amouaj is a Middle Eastern house. They're from Oman. Um, so it's kind of distinctive for Western perfumery, but I love what they do. A lot of their stuff, Again, to me, it's very masculine. It's like very strong, very intense. And this comes right out of the box as intense. I get that pepper. I get that bergamot. But I think I also get more of the cardamom than the bergamot. For me, this is kind of a pepper cardamom at the top. And I love cardamom. For those of you who aren't really familiar with it, to me, it's just a good kind of warm, spicy, and it mixes well, I think, with the pepper. Um, again, very, this is very warm and very aromatic at the top and actually very effervescent. It's kind of a unique combination. It's warm and effervescent, um, aromatic. So I, I, it's just kind of very unique fragrance and strong at the same time and intense. So this to me is extremely masculine. Um, I, this is something that you are gonna make a statement. And it may be off-putting, maybe not everyone's gonna love this on you, although I think I would love it if I smelled it on somebody else because I love, especially this, this when it comes out to you at the top, it's so intense, it's so masculine, this is alpha male. This is when you wanna walk into a room and you wanna own it. Maybe you're going to a meeting, maybe you're giving a speech, maybe you're going on a date and you wanna come across as a masculine alpha male this is the fragrance, Journeyman. I mean, it is, it is intense, guys. So you gotta be ready to pull it off and you gotta have confidence. Don't put this on meekly and like 
you know, worried, oh, am I going to offend somebody? Put it on and wear it and wear it with pride and wear it with confidence. Um, after about an hour, just to let you know, so I wore this all day. Uh, after about an hour, the you start to get that juniper from the middle come in. It's a little bit sweet, not overly sweet. Uh, and the incense also, so it kind of gets this kind of thickness, almost, you know, that you get from an incense, which gives you that round kind of thick, you know, feeling from a fragrance. So that kind of kicks in after about an hour. Um, and... Again, it's still very intense. I think it actually gets more intense in the first few hours than when you first spray it. It just like really sits on your skin very strongly. Um, the sillage is good. Not, it wasn't great for me, uh, but I again, as I spray on the insides of both my elbows, the back of my hand, either side of my neck, and the back of my neck, that gives me that perfume helmet so I can, as I'm walking, as I'm turning, uh, I'm constantly getting the smell wafting around my head. Uh, I got that. Uh, for a good two hours, uh, but it wasn't like projecting super far. So if you're worried about this offending someone, unless they're in really close, uh, I, I don't think you're going to have a problem with it. At least on my skin, it, it, it didn't you know go beast mode out too far. Um, about two hours in, I started to get that tobacco leaf, but it was very subtle. Um, I did a review in the last couple of days of Tobacco 28 from Le Labo, which is this their, their Miami uh, only release, and that was like tobacco, tobacco, tobacco and rum, and it, it smelled like pure tobacco leaves. This one, I did not get that. The tobacco was not as strong, but it's there, and it's subtle, and if you like that, you're gonna like this here. Uh, and then also, kind of that two to three hour mark, you get this, it gets kind of smoky, leathery um, uh, scent, which was beautiful. And this is where I think, then for the rest of the day, it kind of settles into this smoky, leathery, uh, almost vetiver-like. I know vetiver's not listed in there. I, I can see it almost being in here because the I seem to get that sense and I love that vetiver dry down. So it kind of gave me that woodsy, leathery scent. Very masculine, very intense, but it's a skin scent after about after about two to three hours. It's not going to project a lot. So again, if someone gets in close, they're going to smell this and they're going to smell it on you. If, you. if you go to greet somebody and you give you know the, the cheek kiss or the, the head kiss, the woman, we, I think they're going to smell this and they're going to be very impressed. Um, and then after, kind of near, late in the dry down, I got that Tonka beans. It got a little bit sweeter for me. Um, so uh, this to me was a masterpiece. I got to say, very masculine. This is something I absolutely would wear. This is something I absolutely will eventually, I think, add to my collection uh, as far as a full bottle. On my skin, I got a full about seven hours, which is more than enough for me. I, I, I don't need fragrances that last 10, 12 hours, and that's great. But I, for me, I put it on the morning, and then if I'm after work, if I'm going to go out or I'm going to go somewhere, I reapply anyways, you know, so because I want to get the fresh new, you know, the top notes and mid notes, so not just the base notes. So for me, you know, if I get five, six hours out of a scent, I'm happy, and you more than get that here. So... There you go, uh, my review of Amwash's Journeyman 2014, the masculine, woody, spicy. Uh, to me, it's a home run. I think Amwash is a great house. Right now, i got to say, it's one of my top probably two or three houses out there. I love what they do. I love what they bring. I love the power they bring, the alpha male, the strong. I think a lot of women will like this because a lot of women I know like that masculine scent on a man, but this is not your typical kind of freshy, that you see everywhere out there in the designer marketplace. This is niche, this is unique, this is homage. Um, if you found this useful, please leave some comments or subscribe. I would really appreciate subscribers, guys. Uh, that, I, I love that and I appreciate that. Thank you for those that have already done it. Um, and I will be coming back to you guys soon. Hope you have a great day. This is Joel The Nose.